Thank you everyone for being here tonight at the Dinner of Champions and for your support of an organization near and dear to my heart. A special thanks to Laura Parati and the committee for organizing such a wonderful event. I was so honored to be asked to speak and to talk about my MS journey. So I grew up on Long Island <laughs> with my amazing parents who are here tonight. Give them an amazing round of applause because they're the most amazing parents someone could ask for. Um, and my younger brother, who's not here tonight, but he's still great. Uh, <laughs> So my childhood was filled with every possible activity from swimming to softball to voice and piano lessons. Singing was my greatest love and passion from a very young age. And I can clearly remember long car rides with my mom going back and forth to Queens, belting out Shania Twain songs and knowing every single word from as young as three years old. I could not and still cannot get enough of Broadway musicals and to date have seen Wicked 17 times. <laughs> my passion for music brought me to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where I studied vocal performance and graduated in 2018. My time at Chapel Hill was highly memorable and so far the best years of my life, including my now lifelong status as a die-hard Tar Heel fan and also a pure hatred of Duke. So sorry any Blue Devil fans in the audience. <laughs> Uh, after graduation, I moved to NYC in pursuit of a singing career on Broadway. A short time after establishing myself in the city, while on a family vacation to my beloved Disney World, the first signs of my MS appeared. I woke up one morning in Florida with nystagmus, so out of left field we initially thought it was a virus, but soon followed other neurological symptoms including Bell's palsy and weakness in my right arm and leg. Back in New York, my parents, who are both medical professionals, my dad is a plastic surgeon, very far from neurology, <laughs> and my mom is a physician assistant. And I began with urgency the quest to find out what was happening to my body. By great fortune, I saw Dr. Mittar, who's an ENT, who has been an amazing doctor and physician my whole life, uh, who immediately sent me for an MRI, and within a short time, my diagnosis was established. I had multiple sclerosis, the words no one would want to hear. From Dr. Matar's great care, I am now being treated with MS by Dr. Sadiq at the International MS Management Practice. <laughs> Under Sadiq's great care and utilizing medication in my treatment plan, I have been all, almost all symptom free now for five years. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I recently com completed my 55th infusion and have had no, no new de demyelinating plaques on my MRIs or any new symptoms. And Dr. Sadiq just recently told me I am a poster board patient for someone living with MS due to my response to my medication and my fortunate diagnosis early. And I am very, very grateful and thankful for any doctors who are combating this disease. <laughs> After I was diagnosed with MS, I decided that I no longer wanted to pursue music as a career, instead dedicate my life to working in the medical field, helping patients and improving people's lives, just as my parents do and my MS doctors have done for me. MS, instead of becoming something negative in my life, gave me a new purpose. I am now a student at Toro University PA, PA program, and I'm proud to report, <laughs> all looks good to graduate in January. <laughs> I hope to be a strong provider and advocate for my patients, and I know helping others will keep me strong too. If I am conquering my MS, I can now overcome pretty much anything, even PA school. <laughs> I would not be standing here today without the tireless support and unconditional love of the most incredible parents anyone could ever have. I am grateful beyond words. I have in them the perfect role models. I was also so lucky to have met an amazing man who's here tonight, <laughs> who tells me all the time that I am strong, beautiful, and can conquer the world. <laughs> so
Sadly, one of my biggest fans, my grandfather, passed away recently. After I was diagnosed due to a healthy skepticism of computers and the internet, he would physically mail a check in my honor every month to the National MS Society. Donating to the MS Society to help find a cure and help others like me has become a family passion. The Society, and specifically the New York City, Long Island chapter, have become a big part of my MS journey and a major source of support and purpose in my life. Two years ago, a friend introduced me to the committee chair for Runway for MS, a gala fashion show featuring models with MS, and offered me up as a new model. <laughs> I had already participated in Climb and Walk MS, and very much enjoyed the passion and enthusiasm of these great events. It was through Runway I met Laura. While researching me as a model, Laura discovered online videos of my college vocal performances and asked me to perform one day at a society event. It has all come together tonight. So not only will you learn my story, but you will make her very happy and hear me sing too. <laughs> With the opportunity to both speak and sing at this incredibly important and elegant MS Society event, Laura truly has changed my life forever. This past year was my second time as a model for the N Runway for MS event. The people I've met and modeled with have become close friends and MS family members. From my participation in Runway, I have never felt more beautiful in my life than my time on stage, and I've never felt a stronger connection to other women and men sharing my MS journey. The National MS Society is an extraordinary resource for those with MS. The research they fund is responsible for the development of disease-modifying and life-changing drugs. The resources they provide patients is unparalleled, and the peer-to-peer -peer fundraising events, and the leadership events, Runway and now Dinner of Champions, have all made my life better and have given me the thrill and feeling of accomplishment of the Broadway career I never had, public speaking. <laughs> when Laura introduced me to Sheldon Ray this winter and presented her idea of her do a performance at this dinner, Sheldon and I in unison said we wanted to sing the prayer. This special song for two young people living with MS best represents our attitude and give us inspiration to live our best lives. We dedicated our performance tonight to our fellow MSers and those unfortunately no longer here but not forgotten. There is hope and with the work being done by the MS Society, we will cure MS. Yeah. <laughs> so when I was first diagnosed, I had survivor's guilt and I continue to have it today. Why am I the lucky one? I was sad that those that came before me were not able to have the advantages that they had worked so hard to raise awareness for. But I am standing here because of all of those people. The people with MS that came before me are my heroes. They walked every day without knowing what was in store for their future. This organization will find a cure in my lifetime. And while we're waiting, let's celebrate every day. Having MS is hard and is a lifelong struggle, but why not have fun with it? Laugh with your family and friends, Take some tequila shots. <laughs> Smile at a stranger on the street and be a light to those around you. Because a positive look outlook on life is the best medicine there is. Thank you for your time and thank you for having me here tonight. It's been an honor. We're going to sing, but we need our microphones. <laughs> Thank you. 
Turn us, turn us, turn us. 